Sturgeon's Brass Neck. Got another short video to show you of wee Jimmy Cranky criticising Boris Johnson. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot to criticise Boris for. And when it comes to criticising him on here, I'll be at the front of the queue. However, for a proven liar like her to stand up on TV and say, well, call into question what Boris has said, whether it's true or not, is absolutely unbelievable. Can you imagine the hypocrisy, the brass neck of this woman that she thinks she can stand there and call into question somebody else's integrity when this is the woman who is running Scotland into the ground in every way, shape and form you can possibly think of, from healthcare to NHS to jobs to the economy to hospitality to tourism. This inability, this seeming inability to be straight and honest with people, I think is a very, very serious problem. It's no surprise to me that STV have put this out because I'm told, I, don't, I can't actually confirm it, but I'm told that the SNP give a lot of money, taxpayers' money, to STV, which is probably why they put a lot of favourable things out about Sturgeon in the first place. The fact is, she's a complete and utter hypocrite, as are all of them, as is Blackford, Yusuf, Swinney. They're all an absolute disgrace. If I had done something wrong, and then somebody I didn't like did the same thing wrong, I wouldn't be stupid enough to call them out on it, because it's an easy comeback on me, because <laughs> I've done it as well. The woman misled Parliament. She's now basically saying that Boris has done the same thing and misled the people. Let me talk, tell you quickly about misleading the people. Promising free laptops. Promising extra child payments that will probably never come to fruition. Promising bikes. Destroying the NHS. Not having a position on an oil field and now going completely against it and basically losing 100,000 jobs. Getting rid of Faz Lame. Getting rid of, bas of basic institutions and basic flags, if you like, such as the Union Jack that they want taken down from every single building they can possibly get. This is a government, a devolved administration even, that is not fit for purpose. I'm not saying the UK government is fit for purpose at this moment in time, but people in glass houses shouldn't be throwing stones.